Everybody in the gym this week is gonna be practicing this move. Here it is. Okay, practice softball. You're working right here. Okay, then you hit your skip, you drop back, and slide right in. Boom, right into that heel hook. Now, Ready? Let's do this. What's up? Teach me grappling. Brian Peterson here. I got Eddie Diaz. We're at a UFC party right now, and we just witnessed Ryan Hall and BJ Penn. Did you guys see that? Incredible. Who would have who would have thought? I mean, everybody knew Ryan Hall was gonna try it, but who would have thought that he would catch it on BJ Penn? First time he's ever been submitted in MMA. Incredible. Um crazy guys. I want to break this down for you, and uh, man, what else can I say? Let's get into get it. Get into it. All right. Okay, guys. Um, a little switch kick action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the crazy thing, first, on the Imanari roll, guys, this this move is, a lot of people call it the Imanari. Let me show you something else that is also considered an Imanari roll, where if I have my right, he has left leg forward, I have right leg forward, I could drop in like this, spin, and then, Catch him with a scissor takedown into a heel hook, okay? So into the 411, the saddle, the honey hole position, or the uh, inside Senkaku. So that's a, that's a common way to do it, but that kind of technique here, okay, is not what Ryan hit, okay? He likes the 50-50 position, and what he does is, I'm still gonna attack that leg, but instead of attacking it with my right hand, he attacks it with his left, okay? Mm -hmm. So first I'm gonna show you guys with my left foot in front, my opponent's left foot is in front, okay? So I'm gonna change levels, drop down. So similar to like how a high crotch goes here, but I'm getting real low. As I come into this position, I start to turn. Mm -hmm. As I turn, I'm gonna invert and pull my legs up, attacking, pulling for both legs, threading my leg in. Now you, if you see what happened, I, when I thread my leg in, if I spin out this way and I bring him down, I put him in what's called the 50-50 position, ready to go for an inverted heel hook. Okay, bam, break him right there. Now, when it looks chaotic when it happens, and when he spins into it, BJ's first reaction is like, I gotta get out of here. It's Ryan Hall, he tries to jump out. Holy bail. And when he tries to jump out, he gets caught. I mean, it was such a slick entry, which I'm gonna show you in a second, but again, dropping into the position, okay? As he tries to jump forward, this foot gets caught. As this foot gets caught, Ryan already scoops up the heel. He already takes his legs, look at the legs before you go. The legs hit a triangle, keeping everything snug so the knee is stuck inside. And then now, when Ryan lets this leg go, BJ steps back and runs right into the heel hook. Ryan Hall's already on his side, he's engaged his legs, he's already locked, and boom, he cracks himself. BJ actually did this to himself, he turned the wrong way. Okay, now I know this is BJ Penn, I know this is 2001 world champion in black belt division, first American to ever win it, but he made a mistake. Um, of course, I'm armchair quarterbacking this one, but that is what happened, guys. I mean, we're here at the night of the fight, I got my wrestling coach outfit on, and I'm ready to break this down. It is what happened. I love BJ Penn, but he got caught. He went the wrong way. Guys, you turn this way when a guy already has the hook and you're asking for trouble. You wanna break your own knee right there. Remember, I wanna turn it this way. Mm -hmm. So when he turns his heel that way, we're, we're meeting and uh, your knee or your ankle's gonna lose. Um, we don't know what broke on that. I don't know, but uh, I assume maybe it was his ankle. It looked like he was reaching was, for his yeah, ankle. It was, so it just happened, so I don't know. We'll, We'll find out in the report, right? Yeah. Okay, switch. now guys, let's talk about that switch kick. Uh, not switch kick, he really just brought his leg back. And this little, uh, what I call like a skip, skip low kick. At first, Ryan Hall was using like a, like a side kick to the knee. So you slide your foot in and then side kick the knee, try to hyperextend the guy's knee. So that was one he set up with, but then he did a little skip low kick. Mm -hmm. So little skip low kick, hitting either, either back of the knee or even the thigh, anywhere in this area. Okay, and then instead of keeping his stance in the southpaw, 
So as he skips, instead of coming back, this is kind of the normal technique, skip and then come back. Right. Instead, he brings the right leg back and now oh, he's in the orthodox stance and he's level changing and he's ready to go in. So the movement is skip forward, boom, drop back and drop into it. As I'm dropping into it, boom, there's the heel hook and finish. Okay. Time again. Yeah, we'll go this way. So again, he's running south pole at first, maybe a little low kick to, or a side kick to the knee. Then after that, then hit the low kick and hit the setup. Bring it back, drop it in, and right into position. Yeah. Let him step back and boom, right. broken. Okay? So again, I bet that Ryan Hall probably practiced this over and over. He mentioned it with Faraz. Um, and uh, man, huge. great, incredible setup. I'm sure a lot of people, everybody in the gym this week is gonna be practicing this move. Here it is. Okay, practice southpaw. You're working right here, okay, then you hit your skip, you drop back, and slide right in, boom, right into that heel hook. Now, what should he have done? That's the question. BJ did something wrong. Turn the wrong way, guys. You can hit this. From the switch? Yeah, you wanna, you wanna try it? Okay, yeah, hit it, yeah, then he drops right in. Okay, guys, look, first, BJ went, Ah, he tried to jump away, okay? As he tries to jump away, he gets caught. He goes here and he tries to turn this way. What I need to do, just get in the best position you can, Mikey, okay? If you guys are caught right here, I need to try to bend and I need to turn, instead of rotating into it, he needed to turn this way. Push right here up against the back of this guy's leg and I need to try to clear my knee out of there. Now that's easier said than done with Ryan Hall. He's one of the best in the world at this position. But you definitely don't want to turn the other way. Right. So when I'm here, if I sit back and I try to clear my knee out, once I can get it out, I have my knee here, I can now drive pressure back on and come over here towards the mount and start doing some work. Again, trying not to get in this position is obviously the best idea. I know that uh, BJ was probably, you know, Scared to death of the leg locks in the in the in the beginning. That's why he tried to jump out. That's good. Another idea is to not jump out at all. It's like pulling out of a guillotine. It might make it tighter. Instead, you go in. So if a guy if a guy invers um, and goes into this position, go ahead. And if I kind of get caught, it's also good for you guys to just establish base. Okay, and that way that way when he's in this inverted position, you don't actually. I don't want to lose my balance. If the guy's trying to kick and rotate and move me all over, I'm just controlling his legs. Here's a toe hold. Um, you know, if we rotate into 50-50, you remember this, guys. If I'm in control of this leg and he's going to try to invert and get, or uh, not invert, but get my heel up for the inverted heel hook. See, I'm, I'm allowing this right here to look. Yeah, right there. Remember, if I can stomp my heel, he, now he tries to get that heel up. He's trying to get it up. I can even attack him. I know we don't have the best lighting right here, but boom. You know, so remember, I have the same heel hook on him in 50-50. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then again, this is an MMA fight. Another reason why I show you guys this, if you're not afraid of it and you don't try to jump out, jump out, you establish good base and you, you kind of squash him, try to move me. You know, if I control this guy and I keep the balance, yeah. now I can start hitting the guy. I, if he has enough explosion to launch me away, now he's gonna start attacking because now I'm on my butt and my heel is going to get exposed. This is dangerous. So, so what I'm advocating to you guys, if a guy goes for a leg lock a lot of times, I want to try to stack him and squash him. Similar to what you would do with like an arm bar. Instead of pulling out, go in. He, go ahead, you want to hit that setup? So he drops in, he switches, boom, he goes in. I'm establishing control, go ahead, try to move me. Good, try to move. See, I'm in control of this leg, keeping control, not allowing it. Now I can go to work and start punching the guy. Okay, keeping this pressure. Now once I clear the knee, boom, in position, then I can attack. So, pretty awesome. Again, the setup, being in southpaw position, striking here, boom, drop back, level change, go right into it. Drop down, thread your leg through, triangle, into the heel hook. If the guy does rotate, keep your leg snug. Try to rotate, I keep my legs tight. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 try oh, to no, rotate okay. the other way. Look at my legs, guys. 
This knee, keep rotating, just to show. Don't let the knee out. If the knee can escape, you're gonna lose the position. That's when I need to go here and get to our calf lock that we've shown you guys uh, like a week ago or two weeks ago. It's awesome. Okay, it's right under there. Otherwise, once the knee escapes, that's called the knee line, okay? Once the knee's out, the heel is gone. Okay, so pretty awesome stuff. I'm real happy for Ryan Hall. I mean, it's a huge win over a legend in BJ Penn. Mm -hmm. All respect to BJ as well. I mean, he's amazing. He just might've made a mistake this time. Obviously he did. Um, he was doing pretty good before that. But Ryan, man, picture perfect. It couldn't have been done even, I, I can't even imagine it was gonna be that clean absolutely perfect so thank you guys so much click like subscribe share this with your friends and i'll see you guys tomorrow next time later